Hello guys, today I'm going to be making a bag! This super cute daisy bag has been trending all over social media and I think this faux fur bag really brings back a lot of those early 2000s vibes and I thought it would be really fun to try and recreate it. I've never used a sewing machine before so this is going to be my first big project with a sewing machine or just first big project in general but let's see how I do. Welcome to the I Hate Amy show. Oh, I like it. So we decided to go to the thrift store and while I was there, I was like, okay, I'm going to look for fabric that looks like that. And I just had my eyes set up for fabric and I found it. So I went to the baby section and I found this blanket over here. It is so soft. It's fuzzy and both sides are fuzzy. One side's a little bit fuzzier than the other, but it's like a light baby pink color and I know it's not the same like pattern at all it's like not even a pattern it's just white sorry it's just pink and then I got a zipper from the fabric store as well so I'm gonna be lining it up with this like I don't know what material this is but it's kind of like a greenish color so according to the bag for the inspo that I saw I really like that size and that size is a 12 by 9 bag so i guess we just have to cut it a little bit bigger than 12 by 9. it's actually super hot in my house and i'm wearing a sweater because i didn't have any other clothes and i was like oh my god i can't wear like the same shirt i've been wearing for the past 10 videos <sighs> sorry headphone users i need your help and then we continue my story time. So in that um, family studies course, I think it was probably our final project. It was our sewing unit. So, I, you know, I had to finish the year off with a bang. So I decided to go a little bit extra. And I was like, I'm going to make sure, like you can sew anything, you know, just make something. You have to make it, you have to sew it. So then afterwards, I was like, okay, I'll make a stuffed animal. So I decided to make three elephants. And like, mind you, I'm such a last minute person. I literally did everything like probably a couple days before it was finally due. And my sister was just like, okay, I'll help you because you know, it was like so last minute. And this is my final project. So I did three of these. So I got the elephant mom or dad mom and then a baby. And it looks like this. And I only actually sewed one of them. My sister sewed two of these. So um, did I really deserve that award? Not really, but I already got it. So it's under my name. So it's fine. Okay. Wait, how'd you do that? Lift it? Like here? Yeah, this. Okay. And then how do I use this as a marker? Put it in. But how do use I use these that? lines? Oh, okay, okay. Right? Oh my gosh, there's soup. More like marsupial. <laughs> yeah. So fast! Hold on. What did you guys think of Blackpink's new song? If you guys listened to it, Ice Cream with Selena Gomez. What do you guys think of it? Because I actually really like it. And I think it's so cute and it's so like fresh and refreshing and adorable and they look so pretty in it and I think it's really catchy. So I just realized that um it's a little bit too long when I measured it and I don't know why but probably because I can't count but yeah I realized that this fabric is too long and I don't like that so I'm gonna cut it shorter. So Hello. Oh you just decided to join me. I've arrived. You told me to come. What? what? No, you came on your own accord. What the heck? I did not force you. <laughs> Picture perfect. You don't need no filter. No, I should be singing K-pop. Ice cream chillin' chillin'. Ice cream chillin'. Ice cream. Uh, wrong ice cream, but I fully support. So you're right. Dormy. Oh, guys, me, my emotional support dog. This is Meow. It's. It's. I need. I'm finished. I require assistance. 
Okay, so I. I get put it in. Okay. Help! 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 It's perfection. And then afterwards, I'll zoom, zoom It's in. so big. Oh my god, I love it. Wait, 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 wait. Come here. I don't know oh, what to do no. next. I don't know what to do next. <laughs> I don't know what to do next. But like this one, I want it like that size. Okay. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Hers is like a hexagon. Arr. Hers goes in like this. And hers is rounded. What? I asked if you like wanted it rounded. I thought hers was not rounded. Hers no, goes look at the bottom. Place. It's rounded. Oh. Uh, what is the extent of my assistance? Wait, I'm calling me for anything more. I'm Goodbye. Definitely gonna need more help. <sighs> okay, this is gonna be all on my own now, and I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh. What? I'm not sure if the thread's in or not. Is this out? Yeah. Oh. Clearly. Does this look even? No, right? Okay. Okay, so it doesn't look even, but whatever. So I sewed the two sides in. However, I made them uneven. And also there's like a little pimple coming out of that. So... It's just gonna have to get tucked in smaller. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to make it even. So yeah, this bag is definitely not as big as I thought it was gonna be because I kept messing up. This is the original size of the bag and then this is going to be the new size. Like, Hi, it's the second day now, but I just wanna show you what I have, what I've kind of done. I don't know if I showed this, but last night I also made the interior a little bit smaller okay so my plan for right now is i'm just going to sew the zipper directly onto the bag and then i'm going to do the lining afterwards so yeah okay i don't really know wait idiot it's because it wasn't threaded I'm literally an idiot oh my god something just popped my hair just popped everything everything's breaking y'all we have a zipper wow I feel like it was very poorly done because it looks like it might come off at like any second look at that it's literally hanging by like the little furs so i guess i'll put the lining on now <sighs> wow this was literally so stressful and it still is stressful because i'm still stressed so what's your like favorite second gen group mine has to be big bang probably because who doesn't like big bang i went to their concert and also uh, GD's concert and let me tell you GD's concert made me cry literally I think I was like I had like post-concert depression for like two weeks it was so good maybe I don't even want a lining because that looks really hard and I don't really want to do that we don't need a lining do we but I think we can still probably put a lining in okay fine I'll try it Fine, you've convinced me, you've convinced me. Stop crying. <sighs> what do I want to? I mean, fine, might as well. If we're gonna put this much work into it, might as well go all the way. I just wanna make this clear that this is definitely not a tutorial. Like, I don't know how to make this. So, um, yeah, don't look to this as a tutorial. <gasps> My hair just snapped again. Oh my god, what is with my hair? Okay. 
Wow, I guess something in here is toxic. Or there's a ghost and she said, your hair is ugly and I hate it and I'm gonna bully you to get rid of it. Wow. <laughs> it looks like that. Um, kind of, whatever. Should I just save time and like sew it all together? Instead of sewing like the zipper down to the bag and then sewing the lining, I could sew the lining and the zipper down together. Is that dumb? I don't think so. So, oh, 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 oh. That was a very bad and stupid idea because look, now these are not properly attached and, um, okay, that was very stupid, don't do that. Now I can't even get it inside because it's already sewed. Um, what should I do? Should I just rip it out? Okay, I'm gonna use a seam ripper and then rip out these seams on the inside and then afterwards, um, wait, I have to rip them out individually? Yikes, okay, I do have to rip them out individually, one by one, seam by seam. These are so tiny, but I'm going to come back um, with a zipper sewed on, so don't worry. The zipper will be on. Okay, I finished attaching the zipper, and this is what it looks like. It do be looking kind of janky, but it zips. Watch. Janky! Janky! So it zips, but I don't know what to do with like these little edge pieces. So I don't know, I might just leave them. But yeah, here you can definitely see it's like, oh. Oh. Wanna come see my bag? Sure. You are my euphoria. Yeah, I kind of messed up during sewing. But this is what it looks like. Oh, you sewed. This on? Yeah. How? The zipper? Yeah. It's so dead. You didn't even change the zipper foot. You had to do that? Yeah. Cool. If it works, it works. I'm going to go on to the straps now. Like, is this a long enough strap? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so I'll just cut off this end piece here. Okay, now imagine this. Plus this. Oh my god, that is so cute. Oh my god, it's perfect. Right now what I'm doing is I'm just pinning like the raw edges into it. Like I folded it in and then I'm pinning it. I have got my straps done. This is what it looks like. It's not super even all the way through, but that's okay. Like, it's kind of fuzzy. So, you know, from far away, if I just keep moving every time I wear this, like, no one will even know. Um, but I have to attach these strings or the straps onto the bag now. And I don't think I can do it on the machine because it might be a little bit too bulky and it's going to be really hard to maneuver it. So, I'm pretty sure I have to just hand sew it, which I'm going to have to hand sew these little things in. Anyways, let's see if I even remember how to hand sew. Um, oops. Wait, it kind of just like pulled through. It like didn't attach. <laughs> Honestly, I don't actually remember how to sew, like hand sew. Um, so I'm just gonna have to like pray and hope that it like stays. Like I know there's different kinds of stitching. I don't even know like what I did for like the elephant that I made. I didn't even really sew that one. I sewed one of them. Just goes to show that school doesn't really teach much. I'm just kidding. Why is your zipper hanging out though? Um, why is there a lot of- Ow! Nails! Done.
I just poked myself. Nice. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Nails done. Okay, I just poked myself. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, this totally is lopsided. All that's left is to finish attaching the very last handle and then I'm done. So this time I'm going to make sure to try really hard to center it because the other one is so not centered. Oh my gosh! <gasps> oh my god. We have a bag. I made a bag. Wow! Oh my gosh! Let's unzip it. Because we can do that with our zipper. Oh my gosh! We can't even stuff my little baby elephant in here. I don't think a lot can fit in here, but that's okay. Like, oh my gosh, this looks so cute! I love it. But oh my gosh, it's complete! I love it. Um, I definitely know that I could have done a lot of things better, a lot of steps better, if I had maybe planned it out a little bit better. But you know what, for the first time of me even ever attempting a project with a sewing machine, I don't think, I, like, I don't hate it. Like, I would totally still wear this, and I would totally still use it because I love it. I do wish that it was a little bit bigger, like the original size that I had wanted, but that's fine. I'm still very happy with this um, but yes thank you for watching if you guys stay till the very end to see me recreate this bag or to see me turn a like towel or a blanket into a faux fur bag let me know if you guys liked watching DIY videos like this don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you guys like this video and stay tuned next week for another fun video with me okay bye